Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different surprises in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing about this film that a lot of people are very interested in is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to utilize the character of Emperor Palpatine as well as the new villain in this film that will actually have a lot of scenes with both Kylo Ren and Rey in this story. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, as well as one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very exciting for a moment within the third act of the film. Now, specifically, a description of both Kylo Ren and Rey standing next to each other, with both of their lightsabers ignited. It said that they are facing the new villain in the film and are being given a lecture by the foe in the story. It's described that the lecture that is being delivered involves him revealing the power to cheat death that is described to change how fans view the prequel trilogy era. It's described that this new villain delivers an alternate story about the character of Darth Plagueis, which will also change how the fans see the sequence between Anakin and Palpatine in Episode 3. It said that this character has found a way to cheat death and the character is described to appear like Matt Smith. Additionally, one of the sets included a sequence in which an unnamed actor in a hooded cloak was standing in front of Kylo Ren and Rey, portrayed by both Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley, where Ian McDermott was placed behind the new villain. It said that Ian was shouting the speech of Darth Plagueis and a new power to cheat death. It's unclear as to why Ian McDermott was standing behind the cloaked figure. However, the unnamed actor, likely Matt Smith, was said to be moving his lips along with Ian's, as if Ian was trying to voice the new villain. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about all of this and as to why I'm starting to really believe that there's a great possibility that this new villain is indeed Emperor Palpatine himself. There's a great possibility of all of that. Now, I think that the big hint here is that this, on one of the sets, Ian McDermott was actually said to be shouting out dialogue about Darth Plagueis and giving an alternate story of that character than what he told Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 3. So in that specific sequence, Ian McDermott was said to be standing behind an unnamed actor dressed in a black cloak with the hood over his head, where the unnamed actor, likely Matt Smith once again, was actually said to be moving his lips along with Ian's. So what does this really mean? Could this very well match directly up with the rumors of Matt Smith portraying a young version of Emperor Palpatine, quite possibly maybe even the Emperor's spirit? pretty much, you know, taking over this character, which we have heard about as well just a couple of days ago. You guys may have read the rumors there. But when we think about Star Wars as a whole, all right, what really does intrigue me the most here is how this whole entire sequence is said to change how we view the prequel trilogy era, specifically certain moments within Revenge of the Sith, which could be a bad or a good thing. But honestly, guys, in my point of view, this seems like it's gearing towards a better understanding of what Palpatine meant in Episode 3 and is going to make episode 3 a whole lot better by director J.J. Abrams, thankfully. So, this new villain is actually said to be a villain that was able to cheat death through a certain power, where he's also talking about Darth Plagueis and giving a different story about Darth Plagueis in Star Wars Episode 9. So, who is this new villain? That's the biggest question of all, right? This new villain is said to be giving a lecture to both Kylo Ren and Rey, making them understand about the nature of the dark side and the power in order to cheat death. Now, to me, this sounds like that they are using the power of essence transfer and really making that power canon under Disney and Lucasfilm. So this whole entire sequence that involves Emperor Palpatine and, of course, even the new villain. Now, on set, mind you, all right, it was actually said that Ian McDermott was shouting this dialogue in back of this new character, this new villain. Now, in case you guys have not heard about this, we do know that Kylo Ren and Rey will be doing a two-on-one lightsaber duel with this new villain in Star Wars Episode Nine. It's said to be a very intense battle and takes place after the battle between both Kylo Ren and Rey. So we're basically getting two lightsaber duels very close to each other in the third act of the movie that's really going to make it feel very unique and original and something that we have never seen on the big screen before. So what do you guys have to make about all of this? Why would Ian McDermott be yelling out dialogue about Darth Plagueis and the power to cheat death while Ian was standing behind this unnamed actor? That's the thing that really is mind-boggling to me and leaves me scratching my head as to what's really going on here. This is only a little piece to the puzzle 
as to exactly Ian, you know, as to exactly what Ian McDermott's role is in Star Wars Episode Nine as Emperor Palpatine. Now, to me, guys, I am liking everything that I am hearing about this new villain in Star Wars Episode Nine. It really seems like that J.J. is trying to bring things to the next level in this movie in order to really make it stand out from both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. You know, the last time that we even got a two-on-one lightsaber duel was from the prequel trilogy era. Ever since then, we haven't gotten anything like that that is now going to be a part of the Rise of Skywalker, th thankfully. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.